Hey all, welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to be showing you guys how to set up a Quai Network uh, miner. So one of the first things that we're gonna wanna do is go back to the Quai.network page. Uh, we're gonna go to developers, and then we're going to go down to mining. Um, I'm kind of making this video assuming that all of you guys have watched the previous videos um, over node setup and address generation. Um, you're going to need to go through all the steps in those videos to be able to complete the tasks in this video. Um, so, Quai Manager is going to be a very relatively simple um, process in terms of the others. For those who are Mac users, you're going to want to navigate back to your Quai folder on your desktop that we had you set up previously. For Windows users, you can just go ahead and open up Ubuntu. Um, and in your terminal, you're going to want to grab this um, this line of code from our mining tab on the, the, de the developer docs. So we're going to go ahead and paste this in here. This is going to clone the Quai Manager repository onto our computer. Um, and so once we have that done, we're going to change directory into the Quai Manager repository. Right there and we're going to generate the binary. So that's just going to be running y-manager. This can be found right here on the developer doc page. There. We're going to let that run on through. Sometimes this takes a sec. All right, now we're all set. Um, now that we have our manager uh, binary generated, um, we're going to kind of start going ahead and actually trying to run the manager. So one of the prerequisites to running a miner or manager on Coin Network is you're going to actually have to have a full node running um, with the mining flag. So we're gonna go back to we're going to change directory back to our main folder. We're also going to change directory into go quad, which is our node folder or our node directory. And so in order to actually do that, we're going to run this make run full mining command with um, some of the extra flags that we had attached to our previous command. So actually I will go ahead and just cut this on in there to paste that and then we're going to grab the same password username and stats host from the previous video so I'm going to go ahead and I just messed up actually maybe not so we're gonna go fix this command real quick so it's correct, and we're going to go ahead and change our name back to what it previously was, Justin. From there, we're going to make run full mining, which starts up our node. We can go ahead and check that our node is running correctly by running the cat node loss command with the location of our choosing. I'm going to choose prime for this example, and it spits out all of our node logs, so our node is running correctly. Now that that is going on, um, we can go ahead and change back into the Quai Manager directory. Like that. And we're going to actually run the commands. Um, I believe should be make run background line. And then we're going to set our location. So for now, I'm going to do region to zone two. And I believe that I accidentally mixed the command around. So we're going to go ahead and grab the previous command. And it's actually going to be make run mine background, which should start our manager from there. Yep. So got a new directory logs, which is going to be all of your manager logs. Um, 
will show you all of the blocks that you've mined and we can go ahead and show you how to access that. Um, it's going to be the same cat command which prints out your logs and we're going to go to the um, file location logs slash manager dot log. Yep, and so this block of code right here is actually going to be showing us the blocks that we've mined. Um, and so you, when you run this command, it'll output everything that your miner has done or is currently doing. And kind of a last thing, um, if you are mining and you'd like to make sure that you're mining correctly, we can go to um, this website that we've got called Quistats. To just make this full and to make sure that you're actually mining, we're going to go find our username and ensure that our node is connected. Um, and then this little pointer right here will show us that we are mining. It says we've got mining. Um, and it'll tell us what block we're on um, and the total difficulty of the block that we're mining. But all these commands show us that our miner is running correctly um, and that we should be good to go. So that is kind of the complete setup of your miner. Um, one last thing that I will show you guys is if you want to stop your miner, um, we're going to just go ahead and run a make stop. Just super easy, stops your miner. And if you want to shut everything down, you'll have to stop both your miner and your manager. And that can be done by navigating over to the go-quad folder and running a similar make stop, which also stops your node. Um, and kind of a last thing that I really want to touch on with this testnet uh, is it is very important for you guys to have completely updated repositories, completely updated code. So every time that either we make an announcement that the repositories are being updated or every time that you get online, it would be good practice to, in both repositories, run the command git pull origin main or even just a git pull. Um, this pulls all of the code from the repository that we have updated and it pushes it to your machine so that you can run the most current version of the code. Um, so we just really just like you guys to keep update during this Bronze Age testnet. Um, it helps us, it helps you guys, and ensures that you guys are getting your rewards. Um, being updated is very key in that. But um, after that kind of last point, that is the end of our minor node address generation setup tutorials. Um, thank you guys for following along with me. Hope to see you guys in our Discord, and I'm excited you guys are here for Bronze Age testnet. Um, happy mining.